Hey there, uh, Pastor John here, and just want to say how excited we are that you either want to be baptized or reaffirm your baptism. What I want to do is just walk you through uh, a little overview of baptism so that you are going into this just having a, a better sense of what God is doing in this. Hopefully you got this packet uh, that uh, was sent to you, and I just want to go through it. Uh, so go ahead and pull that out, and uh, we'll fill in some of the blanks here. Um, but let me just first start by saying we are so thrilled. We are your family, your church family, and we're just looking forward to celebrating this uh, with you. So I'm going to be on the next page here, and it says baptism is an outward sign that a person has entered into a relationship with Jesus. Now, there's a lot of symbolism that happens in baptism. It's, uh, it's a way to kind of put a symbol, put a visible symbol on something that God is doing or has done in your life. And we also believe that it's a sacrament, that the Holy Spirit at work in this moment as well. So here's one of the symbols. It symbolizes that you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Uh, we don't use those words Lord and Savior much outside of church, but the idea of Lord is He is your, your leader. He is the one that you report to. He has absolute authority in your life. And Savior is He has rescued you from your sins. He has taken you from a life of sin and, and forgiven and given you identity. And so uh, you're forgiven of sins. And so not that baptism has done this. It's already been done once you gave your life to Christ. But baptism is a symbol of this. It's actually a physical symbol that God has cleansed you, that you're a new person. Titus talks about this. He saved us because of his mercy and not because of any good things we have done. This is why God saved us. God washed us by the power of the Holy Spirit. He gave us a new birth and a fresh beginning. So the one thing that this baptism symbolizes is you're actually getting washed. Now again, you've been washed of your sins, but this is a symbol that you have been washed and cleansed of all your sins, uh, your past, your current, and your future ones. And that means when you do sin, you're, you're working out of your character, out of your identity, and you ask God for forgiveness to bring you, to remind you who you are, that that's not you anymore. And then the other thing it symbolizes is a death and resurrection. You died to sin and became alive in Christ. So when you are put under the water, it's a symbol that you've died to sin. Something is getting buried and you come back up alive to Christ with your new identity. Romans 6 says, Don't you know that all who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We, therefore bear, we were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Jesus Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may have a new life. The other thing that's very interesting that the baptism symbolizes is it, it's kind of like a membership to a wider body of the church family, not just our local church, but the global church as well. This next point says that God has united you with followers uh, with all followers of Jesus. 1 Corinthians 12 says, For we were all baptized by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, doesn't matter your ethnicity or class, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Um, the, uh, the definition of baptize, baptize is to dip. That's where it comes from. It's an idea of dipping and causing permanent change. So I want you to understand that it's a symbol. All these things have already been done for you when you uh, receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. But the symbol is, I want to do something that shows before the world that this is true. And it symbolizes many things there. Now, why is baptism important? Now, like I said, baptism doesn't save you. Only God's grace through your faith in Christ does that. But it does have a significant role in the Christian life. Here's some reasons why you want to get baptized. One is Jesus commanded it. In Matthew 28, he calls his followers to go out into the world and baptize people in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Also, if you look through uh, scripture uh, in the New Testament, uh, especially the book of Acts, it was the first decision of obedience for new Christians. When people became Christians, they're like, I should get baptized. I should show that this is true. In examples, Acts chapter two, when people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the other apostles, brothers, what shall we do? And Peter replied, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for your forgiveness of sins and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And why also is baptism important like we already said? It's an outward sign of God's inward grace, amazing love, unfair love in your life. Genesis uh, 
it's very interesting that Genesis shows that God is a covenant maker, that when uh, after the flood to show a covenant, he'd put a rainbow, or he, sorry, he didn't put the rainbow, but he used the rainbow as a sign for that, it was a sign of a covenant. In the same way, baptism has that as well. We have things like that today. Uh, when you reach an agreement with someone, even though the agreement is valid, you often shake hands or sign a piece of paperwork. The agreement was probably true before you shook hands, but the shaking of hands solidifies it. When you get married to someone or you propose, you, you put a ring on their finger. Um, you know, if my wife took off her ring, we would still be married, but that ring symbolizes something. And so baptism is that kind of symbol. And honestly, this next point, it's a public way of letting others know about your decision to follow Jesus. This is actually a party. Baptisms, for the most part, aren't meant to be private events. Uh, Acts 2 41, those who accepted his message were baptized, and about 3,000 were added to their number that day. So, this is a sense of this is a, a celebration with your church family, and we want to come around you as you celebrate this. So, the question is when uh, should I be baptized? And, Generally, the answer is as soon as you can. If you made a decision to follow Jesus, believe in Jesus, do it now. Uh, that seems to be the pattern we see in Scripture. So after you trust Christ as your Lord and Savior, water baptism is your initiation into the Christian life and community. Hence, one of the first things you need to do as a Christ follower is to be baptized. There's no reason to delay. So here are the things we ask as you get ready to be baptized. Uh, have you received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Are you ready to declare yourself publicly as a follower of this Jesus Christ? Do you understand that God intends baptism to be a symbol and a sacrament of what we just described? And you do, do you identify, do, I, do you desire to identify with all of God's people and make this a public initiation? On the following pages, you'll see some more details. Uh, and then we include a Bible study for you. Uh, this is just for you to prepare your heart. You don't need to turn this in. But often people have found it a time of, you know, before I get baptized, I want to just spend some time with God and in his word to reflect on what he's done for me and what this moment means. So there's a Bible study in there as well. And then uh, we'll need some information from you as we prepare for this baptism. Baptism. So, I, excuse me, I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. We're going to follow this up. Once you watch this, we're going to follow up. We'll make sure you meet with a pastor uh, before you get baptized, and we look forward to meeting you then. God bless you guys.